Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really good and I hope that you are all having a really nice morning or evening, whatever you are getting up to. I thought I would sit down today and just have a little chit chat, have a little catch up. I feel like I've not sat and just chatted to the camera like this for ages. I've got my cup of tea that I've warmed up already twice. Steve has taken the children out. He's taken the boys to school and he's taken Roma with him and he's just letting me get ready in peace this morning, which was so nice, which I never ever get to do really. I'm always like running around, getting ready amongst the children, getting ready or rushing to try and put some makeup on or rushing to try and do my hair. It's just difficult to get ready and to just, you just think what's the point. So it's been really nice this morning. I'm so grateful that he's taken them all. He usually does a school run anyway, but he's taken Roma with him today, um, which just helps me out so much and lets me get on with getting ready and getting work done and things like that. So I'm super, super grateful that he's done that. I don't even know what this video is, to be honest. I've got loads of bags here from Marks and Spencers. Um, not from Marks and Spencers. I've got some things from Marks and Spencers, but I've got two Aldi bags full of like autumn stuff that I've been getting or I've had for over the years. Um, that I need to put around the house because I've not even put anything around the house yet and it's like what like the 29th no it's not the 29th that's absolutely ridiculous Rebecca it's like the 20 something I can't remember now what day it is <laughs> um but it's Halloween next week yeah the kids break up this Friday so today's Tuesday and I just need to get some more like autumn stuff about the house because I've got a couple of like handles and things but normally by now I'd put like some cushions out or like some decorative little bits and bobs. We've got all our pumpkins at the door, which looks really cute. But other than that, I've not really put any autumn stuff out. Um, I feel like you can go a little bit crazy and you can buy things and you can, these days, like again, online, like you feel like you need to have a big autumn de decor video and like decorate your house for autumn. And people can't afford to do that. Like each season be decorating my house and changing it up. That's not what everyone can be doing. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend my money decorating the house for autumn. Like, I don't know. I just think putting like little nice touches and a couple of pumpkins here and there, going wild and like completely decorating the whole house is just not the one for me. Um, so I will share with you some of the things that I've picked up here. I've also got some dresses to share with you as well, which I, I'm real looking forward to trying on and showing you because um, a company called JJ's House very kindly sent me some dresses and are sponsoring this part of today's video. So I'm going to show you some of the dresses that um, I chose and I'm going to try them on. They have like occasional wear. So if you were going to like a ball or you were going to the races or you were going to a party or a wedding or bridesmaid or anything like that, they've got loads of gorgeous dresses and like so nice, especially coming up to Christmas when there's going to be like loads of Christmas parties, festive times, there's some really nice things. So I've got four dresses to show you and I also have a code for their website. So I'll leave everything on screen as well and I'll leave everything down in the description as well. Um, so you can go and check them out. So you, if you do see anything that takes your fancy, then there will be a discount code so you can get some money off as well. But the dresses look gorgeous. I'm really looking forward to trying them on and showing you what they look like. And then I will show you some of my autumn bits and we can put them around the house and decorate a little bit. I also made a crumble yesterday. I made an apple and peach crumble and it was delicious. So, so nice. I had it with custard. Um, the boys, well, Woody helped me make it, Alfie wasn't bothered. Um, I love baking, I really love baking. I think I prefer baking to like cooking. Um, I look, love cooking as well, I like being in the kitchen, but I'm, I prefer like sweet baking, like I love this time of year for baking, like making a crumble, making an apple pie, making like cinnamon swirls, like just, I love baking. It's so nice and just cookies and, things like that and like making a banana cake which lots of you will have made hopefully um that follow me on instagram because um i shared a banana recipe probably about four year four years ago five years ago now or even longer i don't even know um but i love to make my banana cake that i share it's so yummy and so nice and you can add different things to it and it's just 
really nice meal, like a really nice pudding tab or like a sweet treat or you can have for breakfast or anything. It's just really nice. Um, so I made a crumble yesterday and I really want to make another one already. Steve ate absolutely loads of it, so I want to make another one. So dress number one is this black dress. So gorgeous. I thought just having like a black little dress, like a little black dress is something that you like need in your wardrobe and just to have for any kind of occasion. Could be date night, could be going out for a meal with friends, going to a party, whatever. Um, but this is a little black strappy dress. It's got kind of like a little bit of a V um, shape at the front here. And it's actually got padding as well in the dress, which is nice. Um, and then at the bottom, it's kind of like rushed um, and goes in, the, in at the middle. And then it has like the silky type bits. Um, I will try them all on and show you what they look like. But the quality of it's really nice. It feels lovely. Um, and I'm really looking forward to trying it on and showing you what it looks like. I'll insert a little clip of me doing a little try on and showing you what they are like. So next up we have a black jumpsuit which is gorgeous. I love a jumpsuit. I think jumpsuits are so flattering. I think they're lovely. So this one's a black jumpsuit. Again black I just think it's just a, a gorgeous colour because it, it's so flattering. It goes with everything. You can dress it up with jewellery and handbags and stuff. This is so nice. It's got like a tie detailing around the neck at the back and then at the front here it's got like a high neck and then a little bit of like a triangle at the front. It's gorgeous and I'm looking forward to trying this on with some nice heels. I think the legs are like a flared kind of at the bottom yeah um, but the material is really lovely and then it's got like a wrap around tie bit so whether, you tie, whether I'm going to tie this at the front or the back I can't remember how the model wore it. Maybe at the front Okay, so when I saw this, I had Christmas in mind and I was like, this is just going to be so pretty at Christmas. It's this red velvet dress and it's got padding again in the, um, in the boob area here. It's got a zip at the back and it's just a very pretty, screams Christmas at me, this dress. It's just so lovely. I love that it's velvet as well. And then the front of it is kind of, um, goes up a bit in the middle um i'm so bad at explaining stuff um but it is absolutely gorgeous it's really lovely quality and the sleeves as well like ruched like ruffled i think that'd be really flattering if you are someone that worries like maybe about your shoulders or something i think these will look really nice because they're very like floaty they're not like tight on your shoulders or anything um, I will again try everything on and show you what they look like. Okay, this dress is stunning. It's so pretty. It's like an off the shoulder. Again, it's got a padding in, which I think is really nice if you are wearing it something formal, like it's a nice story to have that so you don't have to worry about bra and stuff because I hate wearing a bra and I just think they're a pain and then straps and messing around. So it's good that it's got padding in. Um, but yeah, it's stunning. It's like off the shoulder. Um, and then it's got like this draping gorgeous part of the dress like a material bit like hanging loose where your arm will be um, and I just think that is so pretty it's got lovely detailing across the front here with little um, sequins and like gorgeous floral like pattern coming down the dress it's a long one I think this would look beautiful like a Christmas party like a work Christmas party or like a ball or something at Christmas so stunning I think it's beautiful so so pretty i think this is gonna look stunning on with some gorgeous like black heels maybe or maybe some red heels but i don't have any red heels but i just think that's so beautiful this dress i had to come on and talk about it because whilst i was trying it on i was just thinking to myself how incredibly stunning it is and roma's taken a fancy to the beautiful like sleeves like cape thing that it has with it it's just beautiful roman no don't put mummy's tripod over no where's mummy's book can you see all the pictures you have a look let me see it there's daddy so yeah this dress is just honestly stunning i feel like i'm about to head to a red carpet like oh, it's just so beautiful it's so pretty and elegant and i just feel so 
fancy in it i just feel so gorgeous it's ma it makes me feel incredible i'm not sure when i'll ever get to wear this you know mum life um but god if if i ever get asked to go to like a really fancy event or like a ball or a red cap even um this is something that i would wear it's just honestly stunning i love it i'm so so impressed with it the dresses from jj's house how nice are they i love the quality of them just so pretty if you're looking for something for a wedding or like a like i say a ball or a party this christmas then definitely check them out they're so gorgeous they've got loads of different styles to suit everyone for everyone's kind of shape and style so nice so i will leave everything linked down below for you for them and the discount code as well so if you wanted to get something if you want to get bridesmaid dresses or um my party dress then definitely check them out and use my discount code porridge here this is my biscoff porridge that i made which i've been absolutely loving having on the morning it's so nice especially this time of year i love having porridge but my porridge has also gone cold and it's just not the one anymore um but yeah biscoff porridge basically i make my porridge with just normal big like chunky oats like jumbo oats um and i put like a big table teaspoon tablespoon um however i'm fancying that day into the bowl of the, the oats then i pour on my oat milk add some like raspberries in or blueberries in pop it in the microwave with the fruit in as well because the fruit like melts like goes all warm oh it's just delicious and then the biscoff like all obviously melts into the oats delicious breakfast idea thank me later when you've tried it because you'll love it um but i'm gonna go warm my cup of tea up for the third time and then i'm gonna show you some of the um autumn bits that i've got here that i need to put around the house i've also got a gigantic spot here on my forehead which is just so lovely and i'm just so happy about it so yeah if you hadn't already noticed i'm pointing it out now to make it even more visible that i've got this giant spot on my forehead with the food that I got from Max and Spencer's. I picked up some food from Max and Spencer's and um, I think maybe some bits from Morrison's, I can't remember. Or an Aldi as well actually. But these are some vampire fangs um, from Max and Spencer's. They are, I think it's a cheesy, cheesy vampire fangs. Yeah, so I just thought these would be really good because I always do like a little Halloween tea one night. Um, so I think, Maybe the Monday of Halloween or the Tuesday. When is that? I think Halloween's on Tuesday, so it's a week today. So I might do it then, Halloween tea. Um, and then I also got these Frankenstein faces, which are barbecue bites. So like barbecue little Frankenstein faces. Max and Spencer's have always got good like Halloween food, Christmas food, always really good. Um, I also got these little um, pin the pumpkin game. These are from the works. Yeah, I picked up like a few little random bits and I've been sticking everything in these bags because then I was going to show you all. And I'm also making the boys like and Roma. <sighs> I was sick. And the boys, um, I'm making the kids um, some like little Halloween buckets with some like fest, like Halloween, festive, Halloween -y autumn bits in, autumnal. Um, but this is like a pin the, pin the pumpkin. It was only two pounds and it's just like a little dinosaur bag looks of it or something or whatever that you pin on the wall and then you've got to like stick the pumpkins on so you blindfold each other and do that so i thought that would be a nice little family game we can play when we've had halloween tea and um, i also got these spooky lollies from aldi just loads of different lollies i'm going to pop some in their little halloween buckets um, and just have them in like a little bowl maybe as well i got these from marks and spencers these are medicine mellow mellowinis melison mellowinis so they're like chocolate um filled with marshmallow and raspberry flavored sauce like little um chocolates with marshmallow and raspberry inside ooh, ooh, ooh. they look delicious and then I also got these um, sour skeletons from Aldi, I think these were. Some Haribo sour skeletons as well. I got these from Morrison's. I think, yeah, yeah, Morrison's. Some little plates for our Halloween tea, which I always liked. I love doing that. I think it's just such a nice thing to do. I also got these from B&M. 
these are 25 ghost balloons with like loads of different faces on and stuff i just love doing like a little party for them because obviously we don't live near houses and stuff we don't live to go trick-or-treating even though we are because the school um always organized like a little halloween party in the village um and so we go to the village party which all the children go to around the area and stuff in the village so everyone goes to the halloween party and then after the halloween party we all go around that village and trick or treat together all the children from the party so they, the boys do get to trick or treat because we do it that way and it's really nice but that's why i just like to make like a halloween party a halloween tea at home because i just think it's nice to do something like that i also got this from b &M, which I love this. I, I'm gonna keep this obviously forever. I just always keep my Halloween stuff and my autumn stuff. I love this. I just thought that was dead cute to put some chocolates in and stuff. It was only four pounds from B&M. And then I've got this bowl. I can't remember where this is from. I've had it a couple of years now. It probably is from B&M or like Morrison's or Aldi or somewhere. Um, that's in my usual shops. B&M, Home Bargains, Morrison's, Aldi. Sometimes Marks and Spencer's I'm feeling a bit, you know, feeling a bit what's the word someone will be saying it what's the word i'm feeling a bit fancy i'm feeling a bit you know i don't know what the word i'm trying to use is um and i've also got these these are from tesco but they're not oh they do still work little light up pumpkins i think i've got two of these so i'll just put these like on the table and stuff when we're having halloween tea or i might put them outside actually i don't know um no they'll probably just get wet and not work so i've got those and then i also got these i think these are from last year actually yeah probably i have one pound 50 for 25 slogan balloons so there's like trick or treat um creepy spooky happy halloween on here so there's some more balloons we've got a smashed ball oh my god oh no i think it was that way Oh, this is like a little Halloween bowl that I used to keep sweets in and stuff. Bloody hell. Oh, this always happens. That's the only thing about like putting everything away and end up just maybe sometimes throw the stuff around. Anyway, I'll have to try and find another one. And then I also got these sour spiders from Max and Spencer's. How cool are they? Little sour spiders. I love like a sour. I'm not really into sweets. Um, but like a Haribo sour, the Kang, Kang fast sticks are my favourite sweets. Um, or like any sour kind of sweets are my favourite. But other than that, I'm not really a massive sweet. I love chocolate more than anything. Um, I also got some of these. Um, Spooky Circus. These are glow sticks. Um, £2.50 and you get 40 glow sticks. So they're cool. Um, I also got some cups from Morrison's when I got the plates. Just some little matching cups. Have. we've got a candle in here from last year still smells good and um, halloween scented candle i think that's from home bargains or oh, might be them one or the other i've got a little mini pumpkin which i've already got one of these in the kitchen i need to put this somewhere else as well um i also think we've got oh my little soap dispenser cute i'm gonna put that up as well that's from where is it from i think that's from tesco it might be morrison's I might be Asda. Who knows? I've had it. I've had it a couple of years now. Um, and I've got this. Oh, where's this from? This is from Asda. Asda Living. I got this 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 year actually. I got this a couple of months ago. Um, I just thought that was dead cute. I think it was the Stacey Solomon range. Um, I've got like a little tea light holder as well in the pumpkin shape in the kitchen that like goes with this these colours. So that's very cute. I've got some Halloween buckets which. Oh, oh! There's a moth in there. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just dripped out my skin. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I don't know where it's gone now. It's not in there. Oh, it is still in there. Anyway, I've got <laughs> these are Halloween buckets, which I've just bought some, which I wish I hadn't bothered by now. But anyway, that's everything from in there. I also got <laughs> I can't believe that moth. I also got this from Max and Spencer as well, so I thought this was well cool. Um, it's got like a little, it's only got really small little lights in, but it's a little pumpkin. And then inside, oh, it's already got the, um, it's got some salad. I'm going to take this off. 
I'm gonna do some more wait a minute. So inside there is some butter. Can we get in in you? Oh. oh so there's like a little tea light inside, that's how it's making it, the little light. But in, in here is some butter and um, biscuits. Yeah, all butter biscuits. So that's cute. I'm gonna put um put them back in there for now to be fair, but I love that. And I just thought it was very sweet with the biscuits inside and I love like shortbread biscuits. That's basically what they are. So nice. And pop that lid back on. And then I've got this, which I think is from it's got all sorts of dust and there's probably gonna be another spider coming out somewhere. So I just heard a knock at the door, which is not usual where we live, no. Um, so this is my little pumpkin pillow, which I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Probably in the living room on the chair. There'll be a spider in here or something. Just give it a shake. I've got this pumpkin towel, which is really cute. This is from Next. That I got, I think, last year or the year before. But that's gonna go in the kitchen. Cinnamon stick um, tea lights. Yeah, they're from Asda as well, so that's when I bought the little the little bits from here. So I've got some cinnamon stick tea lights. We've got some plates in here, which are probably from last year as well. I think these are from B&M. And then I've also got these, which are little Halloween, like, I don't know if they're gonna, oh yeah, they do look. They're cute, where were they from? I think these were from Home Bargains, you know. Loads of little pumpkins in here. I think I got like this pack. Um, there's loads of like little ones. Woody's wrote, wo wrote Woody on his. Brilliant Woody. In my pen by the looks of that. Um, <laughs> these little pumpkins, I think were from um, Amazon. Just like a little set of them. So I've got quite a few of them. Another one. I've also got a candle in here, Hello Fall. That was from Home Things, definitely, but it's all, pretty much all gone. But yeah, it was 7 99 from Home Sense. Oh, I love that. I could make that into like a little bowl if I cleaned it all out. It's a well cute little bowl as well, which were from, I think these were from Tesco as well a couple of years ago. They've got like little lights inside, which are still working, but they probably will. I'll probably put these in the living room. It's really cozy. I've also got another little candle here that's like a pumpkin. This was from Next, I think. Yeah. This was from next last year when I got my towel and my pillow, I think. But that's so cute, isn't it? Look at that. Right, let's put all of this around the house. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers. And bring her one of my t-shirts. So it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel, scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love that's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love, that's how you know you've been in love
you got there? You've got a bumpkin. You turn it on. <gasps> wow. Do you like it? I'm just, um, just showing them some autumn, autumn bits. Is what I got the children. You do, daddy. So I got these little um, buckets from Morrison's. So the boys chose which colour they wanted, and they don't know that I'm filling them with stuff. They just think that they're taking them with them trick or treating. But I bought them this um, from. I can't remember where that's from actually. I don't know if it's Tesco. Um, why is it not working now? Oh, because you've got to take the little tag thing out. Wait a minute there. You pull the little tag out, look, and then it's... I thought they could take that with them when they go to the Halloween party. Uh, it changes colour and stuff. So that's cool. So they've both got one of them each. I need to get Roma some. Roma's not got... She's got a little lolly in here so far because it's difficult because I can't get her... I don't know, certain things, can I? Because she won't use them or should put them all in her mouth or whatever so the boys have both got one of these each and then they've got these popping candy mummies which we'll probably share but I've just put them in woodies and then they've also got this popcorn these popcorn mummies pop up filled popcorn mummies and they're like little in little packets in fact they're in little packets as well if they are I might just oh yeah so they're they're like this look in little packets I might actually get a few of them out and just pop them in the baskets. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I've got them and they've also got these Halloween marshmallows from Aldi, uh, which are really cute with like little eyes on them and stuff. So they've both, well, Wood actually, Alfie will only eat these because Woody doesn't like marshmallows. And um, they've both got a little lolly in here. And then I need to go to um, the works again because they've got like loads of like little activity books. So I was going to get them both an activity book and I'll get Roma something from there as well because they had more like baby related stuff in there. Um, so I'll get her some little bits for her pumpkin picking bucket. Um, but that's everything that I've picked up for them so far and I still need to put some little bits and bobs in but hopefully they like them and they're really happy with them and obviously we've got the game and stuff to play and I'm going to buy some more Halloween food like um, pizzas and stuff like that because I know Max and Spencer's do like a Halloween pizza I'm sure they do um, so we're going to get one of those are we? we're going to have a Halloween party tea oh. oops here you go Yay, should we take your coat off? What is it? What have you got? Are you playing? Put it on then. Ready? <laughs> you got your Halloween witches costume on? Yay! I think I am going to leave this little vlog here now and go back to mummy life, mummy duties and play with this little girl before we head out and do a food shop. Um, because before we know it, it's going to be time to go and pick the boys up from school. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this little vlog. I appreciate you all and love you all so much. I'll see you all in the next video. So bye guys. Bye everyone. Come on, wave at everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she was trying to wave. Bye, everyone.